Artemisia, Wikipedia article audio. Artemisia slash RTMIZI slash is a large, diverse genus of plants with between 200 and 400 species belonging to the daisy family Asteraceae. Common names for various species in the genus include mugwort, wormwood, and sagebrush. Artemisia comprises hardy herbaceous plants and shrubs, which are known for the powerful chemical constituents in their essential oils. Artemisia species grow in temperate climates of both hemispheres, usually in dry or semi-arid habitats. Notable species include A. vulgaris, A. tridentata, A. annua, A. absinthium, A. dracunculus, and A. abrodinum. The leaves of many species are covered with white hairs. Name Cultivation and Uses most species have strong aromas and bitter tastes from terpenoids and sesquiterpene lactones, which discourage herbivory, and may have had a selective advantage. The small flowers are wind-pollinated. Artemisia species are used as food plants by the larvae of a number of Lepidoptera species. Some botanists split the genus into several genera, but DNA analysis does not support the maintenance of the genera Crossostephium, Filifolium, Neopelasia, Seraphidium, and Sphaeromeria, three other segregate genera Stilnolpes, Elechanthemum, and Cascaria, are maintained by this evidence. Occasionally, some of the species are called sages, causing confusion with the Salvia sages in the family Lamiaceae. The name Artemisia ultimately derives from the Greek goddess Artemis, the namesake of Greek queens Artemisia I and II. A more specific reference may be to Artemisia II of Caria, a botanist and medical researcher who died in 350 BC. The aromatic leaves of some species are used for flavoring. Most species have an extremely bitter taste. A. Dracunculus is widely used as a culinary herb, particularly important in French cuisine. Artemisia vulgaris was used to repel midges, fleas, and moths, intestinal worms, and in brewing as a remedy against hangovers and nightmares. Medicinal Artemisia absinthium is used to make the highly potent spirits absinthe. Malort also contains wormwood. The aperitif vermouth is a wine flavored with aromatic herbs, but originally with wormwood. Artemisia arborescence is an aromatic herb indigenous to the Middle East used in tea, usually with mint. Culture A few species are grown as ornamental plants, the fine textured ones used for clipped bordering. All grow best in free-draining sandy soil, unfertilized, and in full sun. Artemisia stelriana is known as Dusty Miller, but several other species bear that name, including Jacobia maritima, Silene coronaria, and Centaurea cineraria. The largest collection of living Artemisia species, subspecies, and cultivars is held in the National Collection of Artemisia in Sidmouth, Devon, UK, which holds about 400 taxa. The National Collection Scheme is administered by Plant Heritage in the British Isles. Selected Species Artemisinin and derivatives are a group of compounds with the most rapid action of all current drugs used to treat malaria. Treatments containing an artemisinin derivative are now standard treatment worldwide for malaria caused by Plasmodium falciparum. Formerly placed here Artemisia china and other old world species are the source of the anti-helminthic drug, santonin. Classification Chinese mugwort, Artemisia argii, is used in traditional Chinese medicine. 
Artemisia capillaris Thunberg has been found to have potent sedative hypnotic effects, which are probably mediated through potentiation of the GABA-A receptor CL ion channel complex. Section Triton Toddy Artemisia austriaca has beneficial effects in reducing the withdrawal syndrome of morphine. Artemisia has been mentioned and used in popular culture for centuries. A few examples are Classification of Artemisia is difficult. Divisions of Artemisia prior to 2000 into subgenera or sections have not been backed up by molecular data, but much of the molecular data, as of 2006, are not especially strong. The following identified groups do not include all the species in the genus. Section Trident Toddy consists of 11 to 13 species of coarse shrubs, which are very prominent parts of the flora in western North America. In some classifications, they are part of the genus or subgenus Seraphidium, although recent studies have contested this lineage to Old World species. Trident Toddy was first articulated as a section by Rydberg in 1916 and it was not until MacArthur ETAL in 1981 that Trident Toddy was elevated to a separate subgenus from Seraphidium. The principal motive for their separation was geographical distribution, chemical makeup, and karyotype. Much of the debate surrounding Trident Toddy is phytogeographic, thus habitat and geography are frequently cited when understanding the evolution of this endemic North American subgenus. Evolutionary cycles of wet and dry climates encouraged diploid and polyploid races which are morphologically similar if not indistinguishable. Autopolyploidy among plants is not uncommon, however Trident Toddy exhibits a remarkable amount of chromosomal differences at the population level rather than the taxon level. This contributes to the difficulty in determining Trident Toddy's phylogeny. Interestingly, it is the subgenus relative homogeneity within ploides that has enabled it to habitually hybridize and backcross, resulting in a high degree of genetic variation at the population level rather than the taxon level. For instance, some articles suggest that to be monophyletic, Section Trident Toddy should exclude Artemisia bigella aei and Artemisia palmary, and include Artemisia pygmaea and Artemisia rigida. These results were supported by extensive chloroplast DNA and nRDNA sequencing, which departed from prior morphological, anatomical, and behavioral data. Traditional lineages within Trident Toddy were proposed on the basis of leaf morphology, habitat preference, and the ability to leaf sprout, among other morphological and behavioral characteristics. For instance, sagebrush in the Artemisia tridentata lineage have tridentate leaves, live in especially arid habitats, and are unable to root sprout. This method of delimitation is problematic for species that do not fully adhere to the characteristics of a given lineage. Intergrading forms are particularly common in recently radiated subgenera such as Trident Toddy, given their frequent reversals and convergent evolution. Recent, global reviews of Artemisia using its analysis support the hypothesis that Trident Toddy has independent origins from Old World Seraphidium. These findings were compared with Capitula morphology, challenging past assumptions based on floral characteristics. To better understand the rapid diversification and radiation relative to Old World Artemisia, a closer study of Beriginian or Arctic species may provide missing links. Old World Seraphidium Section Trident Toddy includes above species with exception of Artemisia longiloba, which is treated as a subspecies of Artemisia arbuscula. Section Nebulae includes Artemisia californica, Artemisia nesiotica, and Artemisia filifolia. Subgenus Dracunculus 
the old world species which different classifications put into the genus or subgenus Seraphidium consist of about 125 species native to Europe and temperate Asia, with the largest number of species in Central Asia. Some classifications, such as that of the flora of North America, exclude any New World plants from Seraphidium. They are herbaceous plants or small shrubs. Artemisia herba alba is thought to be the plant translated as wormwood in English language versions of the Bible. Wormwood is mentioned seven times in the Jewish Bible, always with the implication of bitterness. It is mentioned once in the New Testament. Wormwood is the name of the star in the book of Revelation 8:11 that John of Patmos envisions as cast by the angel and falling into the waters, making them undrinkably bitter. Further references in the Bible show wormwood was a common herb known for its bitter taste. In Shakespeare's Hamlet, the titular character says wormwood, wormwood to comment on the bitter implications of what the player queen has just said. One group which is well supported by molecular data is subgenus Dracunculus. It consists of 80 species found in both North America and Eurasia, of which the best known is perhaps Artemisia Dracunculus, the spice tarragon.